Neve was starting college with her friend Mary and she was sharing the same dorm with her but for some reason Mary didn't want Neve sleeping in the same room. It really puzzled Neve as Mary's reason for her not wanting her to sleep in the same room was because she sleepwalks and she explained if she slept in the same room she would end up dead. Mary couldn't even comprehend how she would end up dead by just her sleepwalking. She wondered was it because Mary was afraid she would end up stabbing her while she was sleepwalking. But Mary said she didn't know, she just knew that if she did sleep there, then they would both end up dead. Neve had reluctantly decided to sleep next door, but before Mary came back from class one day, Neve snuck under Mary's bed to see would she sleepwalk. She felt tired as nothing was happening, nothing at all, but then all of a sudden she could hear something. It was Mary and she began to sleepwalk. Neve followed her slowly and she opened her door and walked down the hall. There was no one else around as it was in the middle of the night. She opened an outside door and she followed Mary sleepwalking. Before she knew it she was standing on a treadmill that was going so fast it forced herself and Mary off the top of the building down to the ground where they both were killed on impact. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper and if you want to stay up to date on new content then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Michael was trapped in a world that he knew he had to leave. It wasn't exactly a frightening, threatening world, but he knew it would be on the 666th day. He didn't know exactly why, but he knew with every fibre of his being that on that day his whole existence would end. He kept looking for a way out. He walked for what seemed like days and days through forests and all he could see for miles and miles were trees and more trees. Until he reached something else. Something more strange, something different every time. There were magical kinds of beings, insects and horses etc, even unicorns, but none of them were threatening. Still he lived in fear dreading the 666th day in this world. The sky changed colour on different days. Some days there were even multiple moons in the sky and various planets close by could be seen. It was day 665. Michael was in a high security room in a sanatorium where he had been since he started counting the 666 days. He was in there for his own safety. Since he had been locked up he seemed to go downhill, especially in this room. The doctors couldn't understand why. They heard him scream over and over different times that he was going to die on the 666th day in this world. The doctors knew of course the room was empty and there would be no objects in there that he could hurt himself with. On the 666th day Michael was watching what looked like the Grim Reaper float up to him. Within seconds a rope came around his neck and hung him. The doctors outside the room were in shock when they saw what looked like an invisible force lift Michael off the ground and it was like an invisible rope hung him. By the time they entered the room he had died. He was just floating in the air. And when they eventually did get him down, what they saw on his forehead sent a shiver down their spine. When they saw six, 
six, six, carved into his forehead. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Hello, my name is Martin. Me and my wife just got married. We just bought a beautiful house. I have everything in my life going good for me, besides one thing, and that is my sleep paralysis demon. My wife tells me to go to see a psychiatrist, but I know that it won't help, because whatever is causing me to have these vivid hallucinations when I'm half asleep, I doubt anyone with a title of psychiatrist or psychologist etc would be able to make them go away. Each night I go to sleep, I can't move, and before I know it I see the demon hovering over me, as if he is really there with me, hovering over me in my bed. It is so realistic. One night I just had to put my mind to rest, to at least me see nothing was really happening besides what's in my head. I didn't tell my wife, because she would just say it's more of my paranoia. What I did was set up a hidden camera and filmed myself sleeping. I set it up to only record when there was movement, so when I watched the next day, it only took a couple of minutes. I didn't have to watch hours of footage to look for something strange. But when I did see something, something more than strange, I couldn't believe my eyes. When I saw someone in black inject something into my arm and then go over me in the bed with a mask, I was looking forward to tell my wife that I wasn't paranoid. I couldn't wait till she came home. When I told her she couldn't believe it, she told me wait in the room while she checked the rest of the house in case anyone was around, and then she would call the police. When she went out, something didn't feel right, so I followed her and heard my wife say on the phone, that stupid bastard recorded himself sleeping, he knows he is set up. She has explained everything to me, and now I am stuck in this room with only a pin and a pad for company, and I am writing this letter in case someday someone finds it. I am hungry, and she is not going to let me out. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What is the reason she is doing this, and why she is doing it? It is because she's got another man that she wanted to drive me mad, to drive me away from my home, to him move in, to me be locked up in an asylum while she was living such a great life. I hope I will get out of this room someday, and I hope it will be very soon. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content.